If we enable the extension now, it would have inverted the buy and sell buttons, meaning that it would buy when we click sell and sell when we click buy. It worked! Wow, it actually worked! <laughs> nice. If 90% of all day traders lose money, if you could invert their trades, would that turn you into an unstoppable money-making machine? Well, in order to answer this question and to potentially retire on a tropical beach somewhere far, far away, I have decided to build a Chrome extension that will invert my own trades. So when I click buy on Binance, it would sell, and when I click sell, it would buy. Unless you're looking really closely, you shouldn't be able to tell that there's any difference in the interface before and after the extension was enabled. Hopefully that will trick my brain into thinking that I'm placing a buy position and act accordingly, where in the back end it's actually placing a sell position. Now stick around and let's see how this went. It should be pretty simple to code. It was not. But what better way to learn than to actually start working on a project? For my technology stack, I've chosen Python, Flask, HTML, and CSS. That was also untrue. So let's build it. Narrator, montage please. I started from scratch with a basic Flask framework and some HTML and CSS. I first had to ensure that the Flask framework works as expected. It did not. With that out of the way, it was time to build a skeleton of the application and add some more HTML and CSS. The app is shaping up nicely with the main pages designed in no time at all. And even though there's no functionality in the application just yet, I think it's time to load this up in Chrome and see how our extension looks like. Nani? This is where I realized that Chrome actually doesn't support Flask, just pure HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So I had to rebuild the application and replace the Flask with JavaScript. Luckily, I hadn't actually written a lot of Python. With Flask gone and the application loaded onto Chrome, we're getting the first glimpse on how this extension might look like. It's all broken up now, but that's a good thing. It means we can build from here. After some more tweaking and building out of the HTML and CSS, the application was already looking better. There were still some finishing touches to be made and we still haven't started working on the functionality yet. After finally browsing through the Chrome extension documentation for the first time in the middle of the project, as you do, it turns out that any bit of CSS style sheet that you mention in the manifest.json, which is a file that's required in order for extensions to run, will be rendered onto the entire browser and this made my life 70% easier.
everything is working as it should. I have made some cosmetic changes so that the buttons change from green to red when you hover on them to kind of signify the idea of inversion of the buy and sell buttons on Binance. And I have also made the application more robust, which means that now in addition to working on the spot trades in Binance, it also works with margin and futures trading. So you can go all out if you want. Nothing else left to do but actually test out this strategy and theory and see if I myself would be a better trader by placing the inverse trades of what I would normally trade. So I loaded up my Binance account with some money that I wouldn't mind losing and went to town. I should say that I am not a day trader. I code cryptocurrency trading bots that kind of do day trading, intraday um, and even high frequency trading but my manual trading is usually either hold or buy and then sell one or two months later and then rebuy so I'm, I'm kind of like a, a long-term trader i don't day trade if there's someone out there that consistently loses money while day trading that would be me so i'm probably the ideal candidate to try and test out this strategy so i loaded up binance features it has to be features because when you're placing inverted trades it doesn't always work out on the spot or margin trading purely because spot and margin expect you to have the underlying asset to already own it in order for you to sell it if you were to place a reverse buy order whereas features are derivatives which means that they are usually contracts where you don't buy the actual underlying asset but you place an order on the contract for difference which means that you don't have to own the coin in order to place a sell order so in order for this strategy to properly work i had to test it on futures Well, it's been about a week now and you might be wondering how is this performing well i'm on a 50 percent loss right now and some of the losses could have been avoided had i paid more attention to my trades sometimes i didn't use a stop loss or a take profit and i just let the trades run i literally just yellowed out um, and other times i was trading without the extension enabled when i thought that it was um, so it could have been measured a bit more accurately but even even so even taking out of the equation these variables I would have at most probably broken even which puts me in a very difficult situation because it tells me I'm not a good enough day trader to make a profit day trading normally but I'm also not bad enough to take advantage of an inversion strategy and make profit by placing the opposite orders as I would normally place. But going back to the idea of inverting your own trades in general would this make you a profitable trader? Um, in short probably no because you see it's not about the time you enter the market or it's not only about the time you enter the market it's also when you exit it's your exit strategy and your exit strategy will still be managed by you even though you would have placed the inverted order your risk and your exit strategy are still something that would dictate the loss or profit of a trade so if you happen to find yourself placing the wrong trades from the very start then an extension like this might help you, but you would still need to manage your own risk by yourself. This extension would not be able to do that. That being said, maybe some of you are bad enough traders out there that would actually make a profit with this extension. So for that reason, I will be open sourcing this tool and let you guys play around with it. Tell me what you think. If you like this video and if you like this idea and you want to see more of this kind of stuff, subscribe below and have a nice day.